What's going on guys? My name is JR and welcome back to Panora Crossover, the basketball show for the Philippine community alongside Mr. Marky Mark. How's it going Mr. Mark Mark? Feeling good, feeling good. All right, and we have also returning guests to the show, Jamil and Ryan. What's going on guys? How are you guys doing today? Fantastic, man. Good to be back at the Crossover third time, I believe, in the, in the, for an episode and uh, excited to talk hoops. Okay, yeah, we're very excited to talk hoops this Episode. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of things that are happening within the NBA. So, head off to Mr. Marky Mark. What's up in the NBA, Mark? Well, let's go with the hottest topic right now in the NBA, the Warriors. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we got, they got three players that are playing so well right now. How good are they in terms of, compared to the rest of the NBA? They're like in another tier. Like, as much as you don't want to say, it's kind of like they're there and everybody else is like on catch-up, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, the most scary part is the fact that Boogie's not even playing yet. Yeah. So imagine if he comes back, what are they going to do? <laughs> exactly. And, I mean, what's been most impressive about this season so far for them? I mean, there's a lot of games that have, it's only been a couple of games, but there's been so many things that happen in just maybe seven, eight, uh, seven games that they have. They were 6-1, I believe. Yeah. What's been the most impressive so far? The Curry 51 game or like the, you know, the Clay Thompson 14 threes, like what has been so impressive so like, far? The fact that that Bulls game, they scored 92 points at half. That's at like half. all-star game yeah. stat, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's crazy. They finished with 159 or something. That's like, boy, It's just insane. That's yeah. impressive to me. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't was, matter who you face. I was going to say Alfonso McKinney, actually. Oh, yeah. Raptor with a double-double. <laughs> that really impressed me because he never got that with the Raptors, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, we would love to see if they, if, it, if Stephen Kerr, like, left their, his players on mm -hmm. and see if they could maybe touch 200, 200 points one time. But, like, that's you know, that's kind of that's kind of too disrespectful. I mean, yeah. let's, let's keep that in the dreams. Like, what if they could reach that 200-point mark? So I know wow. Clay dropped 52 in... Yeah. Uh, 24 minutes. So imagine if 20, he, played, he played like three quarters. Yeah, you, imagine yeah. if he played another quarter. Like he was on fire. I mean, uh, for them, they were so happy. I mean, was it Curry was so happy. The fact that Clay broke his record. Like that rarely happens for a, a yeah. someone that's been, you know. But the thing is, Curry has done it like two or three times where he hit the uh, 13 point, uh, 13 three pointer, mm -hmm. and then Clay kind of broke it. Uh, what about Curry's game? Like. And right now, a lot of people are saying that he's on top in terms of MVP. Like, can he keep this up? Can he keep up in the MVP voting for the next year? You know, can it be sustainable till the end of the season? He's playing uh, like a guy on a mission that he wants that respect again, like being talked about in the MVP race. So mm -hmm. I can see that in his game, you know? Like, mm -hmm. he's stepping it up for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, we would love to see Stephen Curry being an, uh, what, two-time MVP now? If, yeah. if he would, it would win uh, this year. I mean, I think that's what he's going to go for. I think he's going to go for that... Uh, MVP uh, award. I mean, he's trying to ball his ass out, I guess. And, <laughs> you know, it, it's it's very intriguing to see what uh, he's been doing, uh, especially this how many years he's been on uh, on the team mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Clay Thompson and Steph, uh, his splash brother, and then Draymond Green, and addition of Kevin Durant. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he's he's trying to elevate his game. Um, it's this is prime years. I mean, he's gonna take he's taking advantage of it, and he's mm -hmm. gonna try to get that MVP. Mm -hmm. And what's more scary about that team is he's competing with his teammate for the MVP as well. Durant's yeah. playing out of his mind as well. So it, just something to think about. Two that's potential MVPs. Part. He's low-key <laughs> averaging yeah. 28 points a game. And efficient. Mm -hmm. he's, like, yeah. yeah, that's the scary part. Like everyone's talking about Clay's 50, uh, 14 three-pointer game, talk about uh, Curry's 51-point game. And then on, on the side, you have Kevin Durant averaging 28 <laughs> points a game. Don't sleep on Draymond Green too, though. Yeah. He's averaging a tr close to a triple-double. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's what I was about to add. Like, what, yeah. <laughs> what can you say about the Warriors? I mean, and the fact, I mean, maybe the bigger question is like, how are they going to uh, incorporate someone like Demarcus Cousins into a exactly. team like this? How do you guys think it's best to use them? Like, I don't know. They play so freely that I don't see them struggling at all. Just fitting mm -hmm. him, in. he'll just fit right in. He's a big that can shoot the ball. Yeah. To draw and kick with him, then he's gonna fit in well. That's the scary part, you know what I mean? And I think even his maturity issues, I think like that'll be put aside yeah, just to I win a ring. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like even Steve Kerr said today, like. He's on a one-year contract because he wants to ring, win a ring, and then hopefully he signs, you know, elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So yeah. he could be like he could play exactly how Draymond Green plays, but just a little bit slower. Yeah, and bigger because <laughs> he could yeah. pass. He's a, little bit slower. he's a better yeah. shooter. Yeah, he's as good. I think he's as good of a passer as Draymond. He's one of the best big yeah. man passers. I think he's there, as yeah. good as Draymond. He was averaging like five, six assists a game when he was at the uh, New Orleans Pelic uh, Pelicans, and then he, when he was at Sacramento. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think he could, he's just not as good of a defender, but. I mean, oh, he could have not. the same role. <laughs> yeah. Just what, whether he comes off the bench or starts with the starting five, I mean, the Golden State Warriors will be a problem when you see teams like maybe the Raptors face them. 
the Lakers or even, you know, the Houston Rockets. I know Houston Rockets are not playing that well, but like yeah. the Marcus Cousins, just that addition of well, his talent towards the team, I mean, they're just going to be a huge problem. I know people will be like mad, like, oh, we're seeing all this super teams, but like, I mean, it, this is a perfect time to just watch them and admire their greatness. That's that true. this is, is going to be the best constructed team yeah. in, in our era, basically, yeah. well, ever since I was born. Basically. And this is the only year they'll be together because Cousins on a one-year contract, Durant's yeah. free agent. Durant's Tom, yeah. Isn't, Thompson. isn't Thompson's a free agent? Anything too? can happen. I think, yeah. uh, I think Draymond, I think coming up too, his contract said he's not taking oh, yeah. in. Uh, he's not taking any discount as Clay yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Also, I think they probably talk together and like, yeah. Yo, we're gonna take advantage of this year, the mm-hmm. one last maybe potential run, mm-hmm. and just ball, yeah, ball, you know. Mm-hmm. As, 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 as I question though, is this gonna be the last run if they do make a run? Do you think any of the uh, starting five or anything, anybody on the group will be leaving? Like Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, most likely. Probably. KD is probably the most likely. He he doesn't have much else to prove with that team. Like he mm-hmm. he came for his rings. He helped. He contributed. And to Thompson, I feel like he's a guy willing to stay with stuff. Yeah. Like they complement each other so well. I can see him they staying play so with, well the war- together. Yeah. with the Warriors. KD can play at any team and he will be the same. Like Clay yeah. Thompson needs a certain system mm-hmm. yeah, to be exactly. that good. Whereas KD can be like, effective KD, yeah. in any team that he plays on. Like, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But Cousins for sure is leaving. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but I think it depends on KD's uh, perspective. Like, w- what is he really looking for or does he need to... If he's the kind of guy that says, I don't need to prove to anybody, I'll just play, I, I want to play somewhere that I'm having fun, yeah. mm-hmm. he might take another discount and stay mm-hmm. just to keep it If going. he does want to chase another ring or he does I want- mean, no one has ever done that four feet. Yeah. I mean, so maybe, maybe that's something, that maybe that's something they're to, to yeah. they want to talk about. Yeah. Um, and in addition of Boogie Cousins, maybe he'll yeah. try to come back and sign another deal. But that's a lot of money on the table. That yeah, definitely yeah. a lot of money here. Yeah, yeah but, but they have sponsorships. Like though. Durant Sponsor- is probably the only one that's most likely to take on a discount because he has true sponsorship. Uh, so is Clay. Whereas Boogie is probably gonna look for. A ma- he said he he's looking for a max contract, right? So this yeah. is his that's what year. he wanted before he got hurt, yeah. right? So yeah, he, yeah. This, he wanted the, uh, to be in a team where he could rest as much as he can for the rest of the season without a team needing him, and then a team that could go as far into the playoffs because. Remember, Achilles injury is not, you know, it's no, it's not, you know, it's no joke. It's mm-hmm. you need you need as much time as you can. Yeah. So for him, this is the best spot to be in where he can rest for the whole season, and then mm-hmm. play in the postseason where everything matters and be fully healthy. That's a perfect situation. Yeah. And another question is: Is there like, do you guys think there's another team that can compete with the Warriors in a seven-game series? Is there anybody close right now? It's like it's not right now. It's, it's hard to see. You know? No one. I right want to see how the Raptors go Same. first, and then yeah. Same. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll talk about the Raptors uh, later in this episode, but as we look to the future, you know, looking at rings and where Kevin Durant or maybe Clay Thompson will go, we look to the past. Is the 2011 MVP back? Derrick Rose, we come <laughs> back. We'll check his highlights next.